My name is Julia, and I was born in Russia, I grew up in Israel, and now I live in Seattle, Washington. So when I moved to Israel, I was in elementary school, and that was back in the day where a lot of, a big Russian population, um, sorry, a big Russian immigration came to Israel, and I guess the locals didn't really adjust that well, so anybody who was Russian was labeled a stinky Russian. And we looked different because we were more white, and that was um, pretty much kids in school would throw rocks at you, at me, or um, I think I was spat at once. Definitely called names, Russian, go home, stinky Russian. Um, it was really hard to make friends. My only friends were Russian friends at the time and I really, really wanted to fit in. That was my goal. Um, so because I was at a young age at the time, um, and my mom did not speak Hebrew very well, and I, I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed to speak Hebrew. I was embarrassed to even walk next to her on the street. Um, so that was, I think, the biggest challenge was to fit in, to try and not be Russian. <laughs> when you you look Russian, you speak with an accent, and then your parents talk to you in Russian in public, and you feel you feel out of place. Growing up and coming to America, or even going to high school in Israel, I finally had a realization that Russian is just who I am and that I became proud of who I am and it was no longer no longer an issue so if somebody was to call me a stinky Russian I'd be like hell yeah <laughs> it's not something I'm embarrassed of it's not I'm not embarrassed to speak the language I'm not embarrassed if I have an accent when I speak Hebrew or, so I've embraced it and I've become proud of who I really am from my story to yours, this is Julia, and I'm more than a stinky Russian.